Hello Twin Flames, it's Sunday the 29th of January today, so I'm going to bring in the beautiful Angel Dreams Oracle to bring in a message. So thank you Angels, what do we need to know please on this day, on this Super Sunday? What do we need to know please for Twin Flames? What's the energy coming through? What's the energy? So I've got two cards coming out then. I feel this is the main message and this is a clarifier. So we've got Kitchen Today Creation. Now this is really powerful because it is a day of creation. And it's a Saturday, a Sunday, the weekend. I feel this is a time where we create. You know, you may be watching this and it's still Saturday. But for other time zones, it's Sunday. So we're creating our tomorrow. So the message is what we think about today is creating our tomorrow. And the kitchen is about being able to let go. You know, when we cook a meal, we have to trust the oven to cook it. So we can create it wonderfully. We can put all the ingredients in the pot and make it all fabulous. But if the oven doesn't have the time to cook it properly, it's not going to taste nice. That bread isn't going to rise. You know, the meat isn't going to cook. It's not going to be nice. And sometimes it can make you ill. So the point I'm making here is when we are manifesting or when we are preparing for union, it has to have the time it needs to bake. It has to have the time it needs to cook. So the oven is really the universe. You're the chef because you're creating what you want. The oven is the universe because you're giving it over to the oven or the universe. And the time it takes is the time it takes. And then you receive, you take it out of the oven when it's ready and you receive the reward, which means you eat the beautiful meal or you taste the cake or, you know, you're able to enjoy it. So the angels are saying today, whatever you're cooking up in your kitchen, whether it's a dream you want with your twin or it's something you're creating for work or it's a dream you have about life, you know, health or more money or a certain type of car or a certain type of holiday or house or whatever you want, you have to give it the time to manifest. So be the cook today and trust your tools, trust the universe, trust the oven. You know, with the chef without the oven, I mean, the oven can sometimes break down, but the universe never will. The universe will always give you exactly what you need when you need it in the right way that it's good for you. You know, they're giving me a block in the throat there, an irritation, because we can get irritated by the time things take. We can stress out and think, oh, it's not happening. You know, like a chef would if it was panicking about the way it was cooking. You might try opening the oven, getting this out of the oven, checking it, putting it back in. And that may, might work sometimes, but not all the time. We have to just let it do its thing. You know, I talk constantly about how when we go to a restaurant and we ask for what we want. We give our order to the waitress or the waiter. We trust it to come. We don't go chasing the waiter or waitress around saying, when's it coming? Are you cooking my food? Or we don't go storming into the kitchen after the chef. We don't want to know how it's been prepared. We just know that when we get the delicious meal that we've ordered, it's going to be delicious. So we have to trust in the process. So there's a creative process taking place in your life right now. Maybe some of you are in the kitchen today. So you may be cooking a meal and you're being reminded of this when you're cooking your meal. You know, it's Sunday, maybe you're cooking a Sunday lunch. Maybe you work in a kitchen. Maybe you are a chef or you love to create food. So this is also reminding you how the power of the universe works. And we've got, look at this, the full moon. So we're moving towards a full moon. You know, it's a full moon next Sunday. So we've got a whole week now where you're going to be completing things, you're going to be creating things, and things are coming to fruition. And the full moon has got a big smiley face there. So I'm seeing this as things being created, things happening for your higher God. And it's really powerful because the full moon that's coming is a full moon in Leo. So that's about strength and power. And it's, uh, let me just check here, it's a snow moon. And that looks snowy to me. So snow can be about a fresh start, a new beginning. So we're creating a new beginning. We're creating something new. And we have to release the old. We have to release fear. We have to release the struggle. We have to release it to heaven. We have to release it to the universe, just like the chef releases it to the oven. So let things grow and create in your life the way they're meant to. 
Don't worry about the timing. God will take care of that. Just do you. You know, you put your, your meal in the oven. What do you do? You don't stand there watching eat. You go about your day. So ask for what you want. Give the struggle to heaven and then go about your day. And go about your day in power, enjoying what you're doing, feeling good, enjoying life. It's Sunday, maybe you're relaxing today or you're spending time with your children or you're spending time with family. If you're at work, you know, you can focus on what you're doing. So just give it to God and then focus on just living life. And before you know it, the cooker will ping and your cake will be baked. So in other words, before you know it, your mask will be knocking on your door or your union will be there and you'll be like, wow. All I had to do was enjoy me and doing me and the universe brought it in and that's exactly what will happen. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.